Good evening, good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How's everything there? We're going to start in a minute, okay? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. good. Excellent. Maria, I can see Maria, I can see Olga, I can see Gabriela, and also Dalila, okay? And Gabriela says, good evening, teacher. Okay, Gabriela, I got it. I can see Claudia there. Also, we're going to start in a minute, don't worry. I'm trying to make some time so that the rest of the participants can gather, okay? Remember tonight we're in charge of working in the final test. Okay, and, and to working in some exercises that we are still missing so that we can finish with the, with the level and we learn as much as possible, right? Hello, Carlos David, good evening. Hello, hello, Carlos. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening. So, hey, we're going to start talking about... about uh, about the learning about your learning about something that you have just acquired uh, lately in English, you know, to see very important to notice about your advancement in English. Yesterday, you, you presented something that you consider was uh, significant to, to share with everybody and to show that you, your English is has improved so far. Uh, this is an uh, intermediate level of English number one. After this level, you're going to be in charge of moving to the next step. And of course, you need to be ready with it. Okay, so uh, in order to start and to, in order to provide some, some time or to make some time for the rest of the people who are just uh, getting into the in today's session, we're going to start talking a little bit about, about what you have learned lately. Uh, for example, Maria Magdalena, share what you have learned. Um, this day, teacher, I was watching uh, the video of the platform. Uh, it's... it's it's a conversation use uh, going going to and will. Uh, for example, I uh, the part of, the one part is uh, what are you going to? I'm not sure. I guess I will guess I stay home. Maybe I watch a few DVDs. 
Okay. The, the homework, the homework. Uh... About the audio. You're talking about the audio, right? Yes, the, yes. The script that I told you to, to take out. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. Okay. Aristides, what can you tell about, about you? What can you tell? All right, Aristides, I'm still waiting for you. Okay, le let us uh, show everybody about what you've learned today. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, sorry, guy. Voy en camino ahorita a casa. Voy caminando, teacher. No sé si me da chance. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So, Cesar, take your opportunity, please, Cesar. Mm, something that I I learned lately um, is about the use of the word each other. And, um, for example, um, my my father and my sister uh, loves each other. Um, that's meaning is my padre and my hermana se quieren. And, and they understand each other. Ellos se entienden. Only oh, that. All right, each other. They love each other. They understand each other. They work um, um, as a couple, okay, that's quite good, right? It's a simple expression, but it is significant, right? Especially when you put it into practice. Okay, let's see, Crisia. Sorry, teacher, what is the, the question now? The question is, what have you learned lately in English? What have you learned? What? What have you learned? Lately in English, something new. Uh, well, um, today I only was, I was, um, uh, 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 um, watching some videos about the birds because I think, I think, um, the present perfect is a little difficult for me, but I, I. I found the problems, and is that I can I can a lot of verbs, and that is the problem because when when we learn verbs we only learn uh, the present and sometimes the past, but not past participle. So in this occasion we knew that verb, and that is a, a little complicated for me. So but I am I am, I am learning and repassing that that verbs. It's my whole world for every day. Verbs as a number. Hey, tell us about the the last verse you learned. Um, for example, I, I was watching the video of, of um, I was watching the L E T that that birth uh, yeah, we was were, watching today. You were having review and pronunciation then. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Well, I will check list attendance, then we're gonna see some observation I could notice about yesterday. Remember yesterday you presented your project. Okay, something that you consider was significant to share. Uh, and to show everybody that you have learned a lot in this level. Okay, but I will check list attendance. So Aristides? Aristides? Aristides, Carlos David? Present teacher. Okay, Cesar? Present teacher. Claudia Margarita? Claudia, okay, Claudia, so here, uh, give me a second. Then I have Lourdes. Present teacher. Dalila. 
Present teacher. Elena Marisol. <laughs> Elena, Elena. Gabriela Noemi. Present teacher. Idalia. Idalia, Idalia. Ah. Uh, oh, there, uh, right? Here, here, yeah. here. Okay, Idalia. I hear. Uh, Ileana. Ileana, Ileana. Ileana. Ingrid. Juan Carlos. I hear, teacher. Good. Crisia Morena. Present. Liliana. Liliana Dolores. María Magdalena. Present teacher. Olga Lisset. Present teacher. Rina Margarita. Present teacher. And Wendy. Present uh, teacher. Thank you. Sorry, well, teacher. Uh, Aristides present. Aristides. Ah, oh, you drive. drive. Sorry. And drive it, sorry. Aristides. Okay. Well, uh, yesterday I told you about some observations re regarding to your presentation. We're going to continue talking about it tonight. Claudia says, okay, Claudia, I got it. Claudia Margarita. Uh, we share what I have here. And well, yesterday I told you, right, about something that I noticed about yesterday. Uh, I already explained about this. Okay, we're going to correct people. We corrected this one, right? Now, we used to do it, okay. Now, how do you correct this one? How do you correct this one? I will go. I will go to play. I don't know. Now, listen, this is important because sometimes sometimes we tend to think eh, eh, as if we were like talking in Spanish because we say it like that, right? We say, yo voy a ir a jugar. Así, así hablamos en, en español, pero en inglés. I will play. I will play. I will play. That's it, right? I will play and now the, the other person get the message, right? I will play soccer, for example, right? So you it's not necessary to say, I will go to play soccer. I will play soccer. And then you have the same message, but by using less words. But uh, uh, over here we have, I loved. We have, I, I loved. <laughs> what would be the message in this in this sentence? Uh, we have loved. Ah, we have loved. Right? You have a double subject there. Yes. I learned how you use. Mm -hmm. I learned. I learned how to use. I learned how to use. I learned. I learned. I how to use. Learn pasado de learn. Okay, that is the first, right? Because the person was talking about past. Remember, learn, you say learn or you say learned, and both are okay. I learned how, and you are missing also the particle too, right? So I learned mean, how to use. Yeah, how to use. So you need to use the particle too. It's important, right? So it's important. So we corrected it. Now, over here, we were talking about past. When I get up, when I get up, when I 
go to I gotta uh, when I gotta right because gotta. past tense gotta. I am have traveled mm. I, I have traveled I yeah, have traveled. yeah I, I, I need to be clear about 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 this observation esto esto yo los retomé de sus presentaciones ok hay algo que sí me gustaría eh, enfocar antes de continuar con, 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 con la corrección, me gustaría que primero identificáramos cómo nos sentíamos al momento de presentar. Porque muchas veces los errores que acá aparecen es porque estamos muy nerviosos o ansiosos. Entonces, ese como que sería el primer, el primer, este, lo que hay que corregir primero, ¿verdad? Porque cuando uno presenta, hay que estar seguros. ¿Ok? ¿Nos vamos a equivocar? Posiblemente, pero menos. Porque el nerviosismo, yo ayer escuché que algunos dijeron, I'm nervous, teacher. Y se comprendía. Pero ahora que estamos en las observaciones, eh, yo he notado que muchos participantes tienden a equivocarse porque están nerviosos. Entonces, es bueno trabajar en esto. Ok, no, I, I am have traveled. So, what's the problem here? A verb to be. Es a verb yeah. to be. We don't need it, right? Because, hey, no podemos tener dos tiempos entrelazados. Es, o tengo I am, o tengo I have traveled. Entonces hay que identificar qué es lo que queremos decir con claridad. Ok. Now let's see. So, I have traveled. I got the idea. O sea, yo, yo comprendo la idea. Porque sí la comprendo, pero eh, es necesario hacer este tipo de observaciones. The company have sent. The company has sent. Um, This is the problem, right? Um, yeah, if you, if you were like using present perfect, remember that third person singular is has. Has, yeah. Say, sí, Lourdes has, the teacher has, Maria has, the company has. But you say, they, they have, right? It's different. It was we. I don't know what you, you wanted to say here. It was we. So you see, now actually we don't know about the message, right? Realmente no sabemos qué, qué se quería decir acá. Por eso la necesidad de aclarar, dar, dar ideas claras. After the stay in the hotel, what is the problem after here? The after stay. After that is the problem. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, and what else? After stay. Okay, look for the prepositions. Remember, after a preposition, si, si ustedes se recuerdan en básico, seguramente vieron las preposiciones y vieron que después de una preposición van a usar un ing, after staying. staying. At the hotel, and then you continue. Okay, remember about it. Who to use? This is a, I think this was probably a pronunciation because some of you were saying like, instead of saying how, some people said who, who to use? No, it's how to use. My son want. And here was how, no who, how. My son want. Want. No problems with it? Well, want. Want we is at the end. Okay, so if you're talking about present simple, my son wants. Yes. Yeah. If you're using simple past, my son wanted. 
Ok. Now, I create. What is, what is the pass of I create? I created. Mm -hmm. I created. Some of you are forgetting about the rules we studied previously. How do you pronounce this word? Natural. Okay, it's not natural. Natural. No, it's natural. Uh, natural. Uh -huh. natural. Natural. So the place it was. What's the problem there? It. It. It is the a problem, right? Uh, you you place. cannot have like a double subject. So if you if you have it like this, then you have two subjects, right? You have the place and you have it. Because remember, it is a pronoun that's mm -hmm. replacing. I mean, you have, the, it's like as if you were saying, the place, the place was. No, right? So it's, it's not logic. So you say the place was or it was. So the problem was with this. The place was. How do you pronounce this? Hello. Most of us. Most most of us. us. Most of us. Most of us. Most of most of most of us. Pronunciation. Finally. 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 Pronunciation. Hotel. 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 Pronunciation. How. 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 Pronunciation. Grandparents. Okay, now yeah, here we have, yeah. we have a problem because yeah. it is not grand, grand like as if you were saying uh, grande in English, no, in Spanish, sorry, no, it's grandparents. Grand. Yeah, but, but be careful, be careful because this grandparents is like, we need to use this, this sound. A lo mejor en algún diccionario ustedes van a ver este sonido. Que no es ni a, pero tampoco es e. Es un sonido que no tenemos en español. Por eso es que se oye, no se oye green, no, green, no, ni, ni gran tampoco. Entonces tiene que estar ni a ni e. Grandparents. 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 Ok. Pronunciation. Enough. 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 Pronunciation. Learned. 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 Pronunciation. Learned. Childhood. 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 Right? It's not childhood. No, it's childhood. childhood. Pronunciation. In addition. In addition. Pronunciation. Answer. 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 Um, answer. answer. Pronunciation. Relaxed. Relaxed. Mm. Uh -huh. Pronunciation. Relaxed. Ed pronunciation. Relaxed. Sounds like a T, right? Relaxed. 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 Pronunciation. Decided. Decided. Pronunciation. Decided. Hey, once again, enough, right? Enough. Enough. Pronunciation. Enough. But. 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 Pronunciation. Until. Until. Pronunciation. Until. Depending. 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 And also about fluency. You know, I don't know if you, if you, what do you understand by when I say fluency? Cuando yo digo fluidez, no me refiero a, a que hablen lo más rápido que se pueda. No, no, no. 
sino que es cuando digo fluidez y cuando un maestro les hable de fluidez, sepan que se refiere a, a la manera natural de hablar. All right. Porque también tenemos que respetar las pausas cuando hay una coma, cuando hay un punto, cuando hay una, semi, una semicolon que es semi, este punto y coma. Uh, o sea, todo eso, cuando hablamos, debemos de hacer esas pequeñas pausas. ¿Ok? Pero de manera natural. Entonces, eso hay que seguirlo trabajando. Uh, ok. I don't know if you have any question. ¿Cómo, repita, por favor, cómo se pronuncia natural? Natural. Natural. Yeah. Natural. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, well, we're going to start moving here. We're going to work a little bit in the platform so that we can finish with everything here. Okay, give me a second, please. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have the info here. So remember tonight is our last night about intermediate level of English one. Later, you're going to move to intermediate level of English number two. Yesterday, we saw this video about the difference between becoming two and will. And we have studied a lot about it, right? So over here, I have an audio because remember that we need to listen to uh, information in English important, right? Now let's see if we can if we can listen to it. Now where are we gonna where are we gonna be working about is uh, there are some questions over here such as hey where are the girls going to stay? Well you're gonna you're gonna see uh, who are they talking about at a hotel at a relatives beach house at a Jewish hotel hostel okay. Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for a weekend? What might Julia do with her cousin? Number four, I'm booked for this weekend. Number five, why should you stay if, you, if you're insured? And that's it. We only have five statements. Okay. We're going to listen to it. And then pay attention because the information is going to be significant. Now, let me know if you are able to listen to it, please. Listen and practice. Do you listen? Yes. Okay. okay. Let us pay attention. Practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Okay, we're going to listen a second time. Listen and practice. I'm so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll watch a few DVDs. What about you? Any plans? Yeah. I'm going to relax at the beach with my cousin for a couple of weeks. We're going to go surfing every day. Sounds like fun. Say, why don't you come with us? Do you what? mean it? I'd love to. I'll bring my surfboard. Why don't you come with us? All right. So according to what you heard, where are the girls going to stay? Where? At the relatives. Relative beach house. Beach, beach the house. relatives, beach house. 
Julia is the second speaker. What plans does she have for the weekend? She's she going, going to go to the beach with her cousin. She's going to go to the beach with her cousin. What might Julia do with her cousin? Oh, I'm fishing. Go fishing. Mm. Go fishing. Um, stay home. Stay home all day. No. Go fishing. Okay, go fishing. Fishing. Yeah. You, you said it right. Yeah, I'm booked for this weekend. I. I'm going to go camping. I'm going to go camping. What should you say if you're unsure? Maybe I, I will live around, around the end of June. Maybe I will live around the end of June. We'll see the answers. Good, good. All right. Wow, I think you got the 100% of it. Excellent. You had you had already worked on it, right? So we're going to go over the, the exam. This is a final test. We're going to try to finish with everything here. But if uh, time is not is not enough, then you you know you have to finish it, right? We have another listening activity. In this activity, is going to be, uh, I mean, people were going to be like talking about an apartment in, about downtown, Karen's apartment, the wishes is new apartment. Well, you will see the information at the end and then you will tell me the way to complete it. Listen. Units 3 to 4 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. I just love my new apartment. That's great, Jen. What do you like about it? Everything. First of all, it's not as noisy as my old apartment. Yeah, it was pretty noisy. And another thing, it has two bathrooms. My family visits me often, so it'll be more convenient. That's good. And what's the rent like? That's what I like the most. It's not as expensive as my old apartment. I can finally start saving some money. Two. I was late to work again today. There's just too much traffic. I know. And then there are never enough parking spaces. Exactly. I can never find a place to park my car. So, Seth, why don't you move downtown? You could live near your office. I'd like to. The problem is, I really can't afford to live downtown. It's too expensive. But at least you could save some money by walking to work. Three. I wish I could find a new apartment. I'm ready for a change. Why, Karen? What's wrong with the place you're living now? Well, it's dingy and cramped. I don't know why I rented it in the first place. I mean... It's very safe and private. I just wish it weren't so small. What kind of place are you looking for exactly? Some place that's more spacious, but not too expensive. Good luck. Four. So, Doug, how do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's great. What do you like about it? Do you remember how dark my old apartment was? Yeah, it was kind of depressing. Well, my new apartment is on the top floor, so it's nice and bright. Is there anything you don't like? Some of the apartments on the first floor have a small garden, and I'd like to grow flowers or maybe a few vegetables. So I kind of wish I lived on the first floor. I guess you can't have everything. All right. Now, do me the favor to complete the statements, please. Jean likes her new apartment because it's cheaper than her old 
apartment. Because it's cheaper than, than her old apartment. But but he he lied because there are two bedrooms. But because it has two bedrooms also, but just this side, right? So I don't know if ah uh, we can we can choose two. So we're gonna do it that way, okay, Crystal? Okay, no. because she said that's too it's simple. It, it has to be bed, has to restaurants. All right, so let's see. I don't know. Later we we're gonna check it. Seth wants to live downtown because. <laughs> He works there. Because he works there? There are more parking space. There are more, more parking spaces? The, there are more parking spaces. So both of them are correct. There are more parking space. Mm. He works there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to choose both, okay? We're going to discover the, the correct answer later. Karen's apartment is? Two private. Two, two private? private. Two spacious or two small? Two private. small. Two small. A two small? Number four. The wishes is new apartment. Where? On the, on the floor. floor. On the first? On the first floor. On the first floor. Okay, so listen, we're going to check. Because of the time, because we're still missing at uh -huh. 20, we're going we're gonna to see the answers as soon as possible. Well, the wishes is new apartment. We're on the first floor. Good. Karen's apartment is too small. She wants to live downtown because he works there. And Jane likes her new apartment because, because of what? Ah, because it's cheaper than her old apartment. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. So after this exercise, you were in charge of solving some vocabulary over here. Example, I love my neighbor, it's very, it says my neighborhood, right? I safe. love my neighborhood safe. because it's safe. very safe. safe. I live on a very busy street. It can get a little bit. Uh, noisy. Nice. It says busy street, right? So noisy. 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 Yeah. Number three, it's to have parking spaces near my apartment. Comfortable, Con convenient, Con or dingy? Convenient. 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 Number four. Convenient. Our house is modern and very bright. It has? Huge. Huge. Huge, huge, huge. huge windows. Okay. The first, okay, huge, convenient, noisy, safe, and that's it. So you got it a hundred percent. Okay, let's move on. Enough and not enough. Let's complete our apartment is too small. There are this is it's the sun. No, the space enough. It says our apartment is too uh, small. Not enough rooms. Not, not enough rooms. I want not enough rooms. No, mm -hmm. no rooms enough. Mm -hmm. So this one is the correct. Yes. Okay. 
Number two, people can see uh, can see it into our house. There is not enough privacy. 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 Not enough privacy. Not enough privacy. Mm -hmm. My car is too small. It doesn't have. Enough space. Enough space. Enough space. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough space. Not enough privacy. Not enough rooms. Good. Let's move on a little bit quickly because we're missing like 20 minutes. Now we have as many or as much. We need, we're in charge of completing sentences by using uh, these expressions. As many as or as much as and the words given. My, green, my apartment doesn't have my old one. Mm, as many windows as, as many my old windows. one. As <laughs> many windows as my old one. Our house is your apartment. As convenient as, as, convenient, as convenient as. Our house is as convenient oh, as. Convenient, convenient as. Convenient. Convenient, right? The second one. The second, second teacher. At this one. Mm -hmm. As convenient as. Yeah. All right. Modern apartment often or don't have older ones. Apartment. As, as, space as, as, much, as much space as, as much space as. let's see good so you got another 10 over here great now how to express wishes we also studied about it my parents won't buy a new car, won't buy me a new car, and they will buy me a car. I wish they will buy me a car. Expressing wishes, we have the following. I don't like my new job. I wish. It, it, it was more fun. It was more fun. It was more fun. It was more fun. It, it were or it was? It was. No. It's where? It's where? It were. It were. I can find No, was, teacher. Was. <laughs> it was more fun? It was more fun. It were. Well, we're, we're going to check it later. I can find my new new cell phone. I wish I can find find it. I, I, find. I, I, I could find it. I, I could find it. My my boyfriend isn't in good shape. I wish. Uh -huh. He was, he was in a good shape. He was in good shape. Uh, he wear. Yes, he wearing good shape. He wearing good shape. Number no. Oh, right. Yo tengo dudas con la primera. We're gonna solve those those doubts, okay? He wearing good shape. Good. Number two, I could find it. Good. Number one. It were more fun. It were. I don't like my new job. I wish it were more fun. So uh, what was the rule we learned when talking about wishing? Mm -hmm. I wish I were, I wish you were, I wish he were, I wish she, I wish it, etc. were. And, and that's the way that we conjugate this part. 
Let's go over the next part. We're all, almost done. Simple past versus present perfect. Now you need to choose, right? Present perfect versus simple past. Hey, have you ever Spanish food? Have you ever, ever, ever eaten? Eating. 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 Spanish food? Yes, I have. I. I went. 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 No. I went to Spain. I went to Spain restaurant last week. Mm -hmm. Number three, did you eat? Did you like? Did you like? Did you like it? it? Did you like it? Yes. Yes. It, it was delicious. Was delicious. Yeah, it was delicious. Let's continue checking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Good. All of them are in the right. I mean, you, you already answered in the right way. Okay, let's move on. We are almost done. We have the future with will and be going to. Future with will be going to. What after class today? What are you going to do? Not you going. What are you going to, to do this one? Yes. What are you going okay, well, to do? What are you going to do after the class? I, I'm definitely a movie with a friend. I, are you going to watch? Going to watch. Because it's a secure I'm plan. I'm going to watch a movie. <laughs> Number three. When their vacation? They're going. Mm, when are they going to take their vacation? When are they going to take their vacation? Number four. I think I they. Think will. Will go. Will go. Will on a cruise, cruise in June or July. So we'll go, right? Mm. Well, if you have jobs, let us take a, let us take notes about this. It says, I think they will go. When when are they going to take vacation time? I'm definitely going to watch a movie with a friend. What are you going to do after class today? Wow, and you got a 10% ten, a ten over here. Number five. Number five. Well, I think, I think we're going to stop over here. You can you can finish with this reading later, right? It's in the platform. You read it in detail, then you answer. Well, um, actually, that's the information. Okay, we started so far, but I have some more info over here. And we're gonna study the information as soon as possible. This is about the last exercise, right? So we'll and be going to to talk about the future. The first one. It's about be going to. I'm going to visit my granny. For things we have already decided to do, intentions. Okay, so this is the first, right? Going to is used to talk about intentions. Look at those clouds, it's going to rain. 
something that I told you yesterday or the day before yesterday, right? We actually uh, we actually are not going to be hundred percent sure about the raining, but um, since you see the clouds that are dark, then you you can you can guess. That's the phone ringing. I answer it. Quick instant decision. Okay. Whenever you decide something at once, quickly. So you need to say um decision. You need to say, uh, I mean, I will, I'll, but needs to be in the contractive form. I answer it. This bag's very heavy. I carry it. So Quick decision. The other ones about promises, right? Do you like football? I do. Guys, I'll marry her. I'll marry her. It's about promises, right? <laughs> The sun will rise at 6.47 tomorrow morning. That's factual statement. Uh, do you think you'll finish your homework before midnight? Prediction. To make factual statements about the future and to make predictions, compare. You will have three children. You're going to drop your mobile. And that's it. Okay. Now we'll check this. Any questions, people, about it? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, so we'll check this attendance and we're gonna try to close the intermediate level of English number one in a good way. Are you students? Carlos David? Present, Present teacher. teacher. Okay. Cesar? Present teacher. Claudia Margarita? Mm, Lourdes? Present teacher. Dalila. Present teacher. Elena Marisol. Present. Gabriela Noemi. Present teacher. Idalia. Present teacher. Ileana Janet. Ingrid? Juan Carlos? I hear the teacher. Okay. Liliana? Maria Magdalena? Present teacher. Olga Lisset? Present teacher. Rina. Present teacher. And Gwendy. Present teacher. Okay, good. So I think you don't say Grisia, teacher, but I am here. Grisia. Grisia. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I uh, uh, teacher because I tomo siempre fa el audio. Cesar. Aristides. Ah, Aristides. Okay, so I'm missing only two people here. Ingrid and Crit no. Ingrid and Liliana. Ingrid and Liliana. Liliana what in the chat? Thank you. So Liliana is over here. And what about Ingrid? 
Kiss absent. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try. We still have like five minutes, and I think it's important to close this level of English in a quite a good way. Hey guys, uh, para mí ha sido un placer poder atenderles como grupo, la verdad este lo he disfrutado mucho, he visto su interés, he visto esas ganas de aprender un segundo idioma, espero que esa motivación continúe con ustedes de principio a fin y que no pues ahorita que estamos en intermedio pues la motivación sea menor, no al contrario, mientras más avancen en el idioma Esperaría yo que su motivación también se vaya incrementando. ¿Por qué? Porque aprender un segundo idioma no es que hay un día específico que ya terminamos de aprender. No, es que todo el tiempo hay que estar aprendiendo. Todo el tiempo hay que estar repasando. Y todo el tiempo hay que estar observando cómo es que nosotros estamos produciendo un segundo idioma. Pues de mi parte, pues ha sido un placer. No sé si lo voy a volver a encontrar en los siguientes meses, pero la verdad es que sí me llena de alegría y de satisfacción saber que ustedes mmm, han, han mejorado de alguna manera o de muchas maneras su segundo idioma. María. Y quiero eh, agradecerle, pues, que usted nos ha proporcionado eh, información adicional al que se encuentra en la plataforma. Y eso, pues, le ayuda mucho a uno en el aprendizaje. Así es que gracias. Ok, Mary. Lo, la información que busco, la busco siempre pensando en cómo beneficiarlos a todos, ¿verdad? Y si ustedes se dan cuenta, pues yo siempre les digo a los participantes que la, el aprendizaje no solo lo vamos a, a encontrar que en una sesión de 60 minutos, sino que también ustedes en el día pudieran y debieran aprender algo nuevo. Así como siempre se los he venido preguntando cada vez que entramos a la sesión, ¿qué, qué aprendiste de nuevo ahora en inglés? Esa es una pregunta que ustedes mismos deberían de hacerse al final del día, de cada día, ¿ok? No va a quedar la disciplina, Tiki. <ríe> no queda la disciplina. Ok, ok. So, bueno, si no hay este comentario. So, sí, ah, solo, ah, solo, Juan Carlos. Solo un, solo un comentario. Este, en, en lo personal me ha gustado esas actividades que usted ha, ha ha puesto en, durante el curso porque nos ha sacado de nuestra zona de confort a comparación de, la, de los anteriores porque prácticamente solo era de escuchar y de y medio de, 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 de opinar algo que estamos viendo en el momento en el caso suyo las actividades que estuvo en lo personal mi problema es eso de los nervios por ejemplo en la actividad de ayer traté la manera de memorizarlo pero en el momento que estaba me enredé todo entonces, lo que había formulado. Entonces, pero poco a poco eso se va a ir quitando con ese tipo de, de actividades. Le agradezco ahí por eso. Me exacto, ha gustado. exacto. Fíjense que la única manera para mejorar es exponerse. Exponerse a que, a que el profesor observe mis errores, pero que también observe lo que he avanzado. Porque si ustedes se fijan, yo he... Hago énfasis en ambas cosas, ¿verdad? O sea, se ha avanzado en esto, pero también hay que mejorar en esto, ¿verdad? Siempre tenemos algo que mejorar, inclusive nosotros los profesores, siempre tenemos algo que mejorar. Y por eso les decía, un hábito es como preguntarse a diario, bueno, ¿y hoy qué, qué aprendiste? O sea, te has puesto el título de estudiante de un segundo idioma y ¿qué has hecho por eso? Al final de la jornada deberían de preguntarse cómo ustedes, digamos, están mejorando o están esforzándose de manera individual para mejorar. ¿Ok? 
Gracias, Sí, gracias, teacher. teacher. Okay. Eh, para mí igual ha sido un, un mes intensivo. <ríe> mucho, mucho. <ríe> Se lo juro. Ok, algo al, hayan, han habido participantes en otros meses, ¿verdad? En otras ocasiones que me han dicho que, que consideran que, que soy un poco, que demando un poco de trabajo, y pues espero que en realidad les, les parece bien, o sea, es como lo que dijo alguien por ahí, bueno, salimos de la zona de confort, y salir de la zona de confort implica eh, mejorar. Siempre que algo nos cueste, es para nuestro bien. Si nos cuesta mejor, lo fácil uh -uh. no Sí. es En tan el módulo beneficioso. pasado, módulo pasado no hubo ni una tan sola tarea. <ríe> Y hoy era como que todos los días, como que, señor. ah, bueno, y se termina el módulo y yo les dejo siempre tarea. ¿Ok? Así. <ríe> ah, Aprender gracias, Tito. Muchas una gracias. frase diaria, Ok. al menos. Una Sí. frase o algo nuevo. O sea, la pregunta del día debe de ser, pues, ¿y qué aprendí ahora? Así que espero verlos pronto y si no los veo pronto, espero verlos en un nivel avanzado en donde ya podamos platicar que unos, unos 40 minutos sin detenernos. Ok, y este, la verdad que sí espero verlos en un nivel avanzado. Ya llegaron a intermedio. Ya les dije yo que intermedio es, es como la zona donde se empiezan a ver cosas que asustan, eh, otras que no asustan mucho. Eh, pero a fin de cuentas, eh, cuando uno pasa el intermedio y va llegando ahí por upper intermediate, que es ya casi llegando al avanzado, se siente tan pero tan bien eh, alcanzar un nivel avanzado. Se siente, bueno, es una cosa que no se puede describir si en realidad amamos este, aprender un segundo idioma. Creo que Chris se quería decir algo. <risa> No, y un aplauso le estaba poniendo. Okay. No, el aplauso es para todos ustedes, para el grupo, porque lo han hecho muy bien. Así que si actuaron de esa manera conmigo, esperaría que con todos los maestros ustedes siempre den su mejor esfuerzo, ¿ok? Porque de eso se trata. Thank you. Ok, see Good you teacher. soon. Thank you, teacher. See you one day. We don't know when, but we're going to see uh, See you sooner, one day. <laughs> the sooner or later. On Monday? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Okay. Good night, people. Thank you, teacher. Bendiciones. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bless Bendiciones, you. teacher. Gracias. Blessings. All right.